defense, especially the first half, they shoot seventy three percent. Yeah, no question about it. I mean, you can't you can't win ball games shoot allowing your opponents to shoot that quick. You know, that's something that we've talked a lot about. Honestly, we struggled with that against Texas State as well. Uh, there wasn't many really jump shots. I mean, they made maybe four threes in the first half, three or four threes in the first half. We're allowing teams to get to the rim, right to the heart of our defense. You know, that's something we obviously have to get corrected here very soon. The Jake's just having too much success inside, or was it were, were their guards getting in more trouble just with the dribble penetration and getting inside? You know, I think starting the game out, their big guys really established a presence in the paint. You know, they did. Um, and and Jalen and Ken, I don't want to call them undersized. They've got to find a way to be more physical, uh, compete a little bit harder to start the game out. But I, I thought they established their dominance early, and then we started collapsing. That opened up the lanes for their guards, um, and I think that was a difference in the ball game. Coach, how hard is it to double Sean O'Brien when he's a pretty talented passer? You know, we, we looked at it. Uh, we didn't actually try to double him at all tonight. Uh, maybe that was a mistake on my part. Uh, he, he is a good basketball player. I think he's really improved his game you know, from a year ago because he can handle uh, he can put the ball on the floor, and he is a good passer, like you said, a good playmaker. I think we got to do a better job getting him off the blocks. You know, we were letting him catch it so deep that it's, it's hard to double it right there anyway when he's that low to close to the rim. Coach, 